Hello, I'm Tazneem, Data Sourcing Specialist at DataRaid Marketplace, and today I'd like to show you around the platform. DataRaid Marketplace is one of the world's largest data marketplaces with over 100,000 monthly visitors and more than 3,000 data products available. It's a B2B marketplace and is used by top companies and universities globally. As a B2B commerce platform, it does not offer free data sets. However, the marketplace is free for buyers to use. It works on a commission fee basis, so buyers only pay the provider directly upon finding the right data for their use case. You can sign up within two minutes. The platform is secure as their system runs a KYC and third-party identity verification. If we now have a look at my screen, we can see the Explore Data by Category section. There are over 500 categories of data available on DataRaid Marketplace. They're the most visited pages on the platform, and that's where you'll find the products and providers listed. Here, we'll look at the hospitality, hospitality, travel, and tourism data page. These pages are where you can learn more about a data category, the data sets and products available, as well as compare various data providers. Products are ranked according to their reviews, whether there's a sample attached and how relevant their products are to the category. Relevance is calculated by looking at the keywords in product titles and description, which is why it's important for data providers to create detailed product listings. There are over 500 providers on DataRaid Marketplace covering a wide range of use cases and geographies. We only list trusted privacy compliant providers on DataRaid Marketplace. So whatever your data project is, you can be sure to find the right data source here. Most connections between data buyers and providers on the DataRaid Marketplace happen when a buyer views the product. On product pages, you can see the data samples, the data dictionaries, and pricing options that are available. If we scroll down, you can also see the description of the project, the geography available, as well as further information such as, such as volume, as well as common use cases and categories that the data includes. Buyers can contact providers via product pages or by requesting a sample, quote, or more information. Additionally, in order to find out more information regarding the data provider, you can click into the storefront page for the provider. Here's an example of the Data Appeal Company's storefront page. Here, the storefront houses the provider's data catalog, as well as includes a profile about the company themselves, their data offering, as well as typical use cases and data categories covered. If a provider has collected reviews on DataRaid Marketplace, you'll also see them here. Reviews are especially helpful to win buyer trust. You can also contact providers from their storefront, although most con conversions on the Marketplace happen from the product page. So we'll go back into the previous product and click on get a, a custom quote. Here, we're able to provide the details of the inquiry to send off to the provider. You can select the country coverage needed, the use case, and the data categories. On the next page, you have the ability to select the data frequency, add in an estimated budget, as well as further outline the requirements in detail. It is highly recommended that you, that you add in a message to send to the data provider in order to get a faster and more comprehensive response. Here, we recommend that you add in what you're looking for, the timeline for getting the data, as well as which data attributes are important to you, and if applicable, whether you're looking for raw or aggregated data. Here, we will imagine that I'm looking for footfall data in popular coffee shops. I've outlined the attributes that I'm looking for, as well as the timeline that I'm looking to get the data within. In the next pages, you'll be asked to either enter in or confirm some of your personal contact details, as well as company information. What you will then have the ability to do is send in your inquiry. Once that happens, the provider will be in touch regarding whether or not they can help you with your request. Additionally, you will see some other recommended products based on the original product that you expressed interest in. You can either choose to, uh, to accept these recommendations or simply skip the step. I choose to accept and, in the, and am then taken to my inquiry page. Once a provider has accepted your request, you will see the update here in your account. From the account page, you also have the ability to see any messages back and forth between you and the providers. Finally, I'll show you how to create a data posting. 
If I click here at the top where it says post your data request, you'll be taken to this page. If you don't have the time to compare and send inquiries to multiple providers, or if you're a first time buyer finding the search a little bit overwhelming, you can use the post your data request feature. Here, you have the ability to outline your data requirements as we did in the previous screens. It's quite similar to the flow of the inquiry journey that we just went through, except instead of being sent to just one data provider, your data requests will be shown to 500 plus providers. In a nutshell, that's how you're able to use the data rate marketplace to find the data that you're looking for. We hope that you found this data tutorial useful and we're so eager to help you in your next data sourcing journey. Until next time.